Okay, um, hello Taurus. You gotta excuse my voice because it's late and I'm trying to get a few readings out. Okay. But um hello to you guys. Hit that notification button to be notified when I post a video. This is to inspire. Hit the join button to become a member. Okay. Subscribe, new viewers, welcome to my channel. Subscribe. I'd love to have you guys as a subscriber. Sit back, enjoy this story read. This is you guys' story read, okay? All right. Hope you guys are having a um, blessed week. Hey, Taurus, let's get some cards to drop. And we'll begin your story read. Okay. Okay, Taurus. Taurus is in the room. Forces energy. Forces energy. Forces energy. Forces energy. Forces energy. Forces energy. Yes, yes. Okay, is that enough? Two more. Okay. Okay. Hey, Taurus, we have the Page of Rods. The Four of Swords. And most of your cards flipped upright. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Seven of Cups. Queen of Rods. Knight of Cups, the World, Nine of Swords, Seven of Rods, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, The Lovers, the Hierophant and the Tower. Okay, so these are your cards. All right, so I'm going to read off top of the cards. I'm going to see what the story is off top. Okay, then we're going to clarify the cards. The story could change when I clarify the cards, but you can also resonate with both stories. All right, you guys, but it's definitely going to go more in depth. So here we go. So let me look and see what's going on in this story. Oh, goodness. Hmm. So there's a page of rods. A fire sign. This person younger than you. They're coming in to make an announcement to you. This person may have a lot of pride. They may be, you know, playful, real playful. Maybe you guys play along, around a lot, flirt with each other. Taurus. This person may have a lot on their plate. This somebody that may have held on to you, or they're gonna make some announcement that they're choosing you. Look at them holding on. This person's been holding on to you. If somebody's been holding on to you. This person may be at a distance from you as well. They're going to make some type of announcement to you for swords. This person may pray for you or they may um, meditate on you or this person could be ill. This person could have an illness or somebody for swords. Eight of Cups. So they could announce to you that somebody was ill. And they walked away. This person that was ill walked away from them. Or they walked away from this person. Or this person, they just prayed for you. Or they may come and tell you that they prayed for you. To be back in their life. And they walked away from another situation. 
because they're, they're focused on you. They have wishful thinking about you. There's no other like you. There's no other like you to them. You know, there's, you may make this person feel complete. Queen of Rods. They're going to they, they're gonna tell you they want stability with you. That they want to live with you. They want you guys to live together. Queen of Rods. Or this is this how they see you. Independent. Strong. Beautiful. Passionate. Stable. Okay. Nine of Cups. They're coming in to offer you love. This Aries may have some Pisces in their chart. Yep. They're ending a cycle somewhere else. Want a new beginning with you, but they're mentally tormented, mentally stuck on how to get this new beginning with you. You may fight this person off. But they're working hard to rebuild with you. Or they're willing to work hard to rebuild the stability that you guys used to have. If you guys used to have stability together, this card could mean you this somebody you used to have stability with. It could mean that you could have used yeah, Ace of Cups. You're this person's fulfillment. They're in love with you. They're your soulmate. They feel like you're their soulmate. They can have Gemini in their chart, or some of you it could be a Gemini. The high font card. This somebody you're you were in something long term with, or somebody you're married to. The tower. You went through a tower moment with this person. But this is what they want. You're their fulfillment. They're in love with you. They see you as their soulmate. They want to marry you. Or they want something long term. All right. With you. And there's a tower moment card. They went through a tower moment somewhere else that could be saying this. <clears throat> Or this could be saying this person is trying not to go through a tower moment with you. You guys could have went through a tower moment in the past. Had one. In the past. And they just try not to have one with you again. Because they see that you're their fulfillment. And they want to move forward with you. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing off top of the card. So I'm going to clarify these cards. And we're going to. See what's going on. See, see if the story changes. Let's, let's see. You can resonate with the story as well, you guys. All right. Okay. Um, Page of Rods. Page of Rods concerning Taurus's energy. Page of Rods concerning Taurus's energy. Four of Cups. Yep. This person is coming in to announce to you how they feel. They're coming in offering you a cup. But you may be hesitant. Look at this. You may be hesitant to take this cup or don't rush to accept the cup. Take your time. Four of Swords. This could be telling you, pray about it before you accept this cup. You need to do some praying, get some insight, you know, from your higher power on which way to go with this person, okay? You may need to see some things. Don't rush in and accept that cup. Clarify the Four of Swords. That's what that's saying. Clarify the Four of Swords. Concerning Taurus. Okay, two of pinnacles. Yeah. Juggling stability. Yeah. Get some insight because this person may be juggling you. Come in juggling. This person has somebody else. They're juggling. You need to see that. I mean, not you're juggling. They have somebody else that they take care of that they juggle stability with. The person may be ill. Okay. Or you could be um have stability with somebody that's not well. Okay, it could mean that well, so that has you stuck. You're feeling stuck. Okay, so either you um have stability, you're with somebody that's ill, or they are the person they're with, they're ill. And you need to get some insight. And that's why they're, somebody's feeling stuck and trapped. Either one of you guys. Okay? Somebody may not be well that you're, that you're living with. That you have stability with.
Or maybe you're having to juggle stability because you have to take care of somebody that's ill. Either you or this person is coming in to you. And either they were stuck. It, that's why it took them so long to come in because they were stuck. Because they were taking care of somebody that was ill. And they had to take, you know, they had to help this person. Or either they see you doing this. And they feel that you are stuck because of that. All right. All right. Eight of cups. And they walked away. Maybe they walked away from this person that's not well that they were taking care of. Or they want you to walk away from your situation. If you're if you are with somebody that's not well, you're taking care of somebody that's not well. They may announce to you that they want you to walk away from that situation. So they could be with you. Clarify the eight of cups. Let's clarify and see. Clarify the eight of cups concerning Taurus's energy. The hermit card. Yeah, so they may come in and um express to you they want to be with you and you need to get some insight, you know, on what to do. You need to get with your higher power and use your intuition on helping you make this decision whether to walk away or this is where you're going to be at. It's going to, when they come in, it's going to leave you in this space. Of having to make a decision on what to do. And you may not want to walk away from this person you're dealing with. Because they may not be well. So you got to really do some inner reflecting. And um, get with your higher power to help you make this decision. You know, what should you do? Nine of Cups. This person has a lot of wishful thinking about you. Or this is you. This may be somebody you had a lot of wishful thinking about. And then here they come, boom, out of nowhere, wanting, wanting you to be with them. Okay? This person may be younger than you. A fire sign. They're actually your Aries person. They could have water in their chart. I see Scorpio Cancer. Clarify this nine of cups. Clarify this nine of cups. Concerning Taurus's energy. Clarify this nine of cups. Okay, temperance. Yeah, so this has you having a lot of wishful thinking on this situation. You are this person. It's either you doing this or the person doing this. Trying to get some insight. You know, on, they're getting, yeah, this may be you trying to get insight on what to do on this person. Or maybe you're getting some insight. You're going to be getting some insight, temperance on, will this person balance your life out or knock you off balance, you know? Yeah, you're trying to get a lot of insight what to do in this situation. Or this is what this person did. They did a lot of wishful thinking on you. And they got insight on what to do. They may feel like you balanced their life out. And they want you back. Seven of Cups. Right here. They see there's no other like you. Okay, no, nobody's viable. Nobody else is viable. I don't know. I'm not probably saying that right. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But yeah, they, they see no other like you. You know, nobody completes you like, um, completes them like you complete them. Okay, they probably feel incomplete without you. They probably been with all these options. Look at this. They probably dealt with all these people, but they, they could not make them feel like you made them feel when they were with you. In other words. Clarify the Seven of Cups concerning Taurus's energy. Okay. And so this has them stagnant because they can't find another you. There's no other you. So if they can't have you, they're just sitting there waiting, waiting until they can't have you. Queen of Cups. There's somebody, they see you as beautiful, stable, secure within yourself, strong, passionate. 
Yeah, and this could be somebody you used to you could have used to have stability with this person. You could have used to live with them in the in the past. And this is what they want with you. They want they they want it back. They want this back, the stability back. Clarify the Queen of Rods concerning Taurus's energy. Clarify Queen of Rods concerning Taurus's energy. Five of Swords. Yeah. But they're feeling a sense of defeat. Or they're coming in to win you. They were feeling a sense of defeat, but they're coming in to win you. Clarify the Five of Swords concerning Taurus's energy. Yep. But they're coming in to get that success. So they're feeling a sense of defeat, but they're coming in to move forward in a success to get you. Yeah, they're expecting a success. They're coming in to offer you love. Pisces energy. So they could have Pisces in their chart, fire with Pisces. Yes, this person's in love with you. They see they see you as their empress. Husband or wife, whether you're male or female, they see you as beautiful. They love everything about you, your personality. Yes, they see themselves having a family with you. This person could have some Libra in their chart as well, or you could have Libra in your chart. Three of Swords, you, you, they no longer want to be separated from you. This person couldn't get a distance from you. This person's heartbroken without you. You could have been in a. Mm, Oh, ooh, this part was Queen of Swords. They're coming in quick. Oh, Queen of Swords, they're doing a lot of inner reflecting on you. You may have cut this person off in the past. You separated from this person. Okay, so you could have lived with them. Like I said, you used to live with them in the past. And you separated from this person. So you guys could have been married and you're in separation. I don't, yeah. Yep, but this may leave you doing a lot of inner reflecting on what you should do. Or this person has been doing a lot of inner reflecting on you. You cut this person off in the past. They want you back. I was thinking that was the King of Swords, but it wasn't. I looked at it real quick because, you know, the King of Swords has a sword. That's why I was like, ooh, this person coming in quick. But no, they're inner reflecting. You could, this is somebody you may have cut off in the past. You guys went through a separation separated but they no longer want to be separated with you okay they want to end the cycle of you guys being separated or they're going through they're, they're they're ending a cycle of their own and they're wanting to start a new beginning with you clarify the world card concerning Taurus energy clarify the world card strength card yeah, this person wants a new beginning with you. They want to heal things with you. If they did anything to you in the past to hurt you, um, they want your forgiveness. This person is just holding on to you. They've always held on to you. Yep, nine of swords. They're mentally stuck on you. You can't move forward without you on their mind. You stay on this person's mind. Clarify the nine of swords. Let's turn it towards this energy. And this person may have Taurus in their chart because I'm feeling, I don't know why I want to say this person is a Taurus. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel out in the cold. They feel at a loss without you. This how they, they feel impoverished without you. They miss you, Taurus. Queen of Cups, they're very emotional when it comes to you. They hold a lot of emotions for you, Queen of Cups. They have Scorpio. Yes. Seven of Rods. You may be fighting this person off. Yep. Ten of Rods. And this burdens them. This burdens them. Or they could have fought you off in the past. And they're feeling guilty because of it. Or this, this is what you're doing to them now. Or they could be already came into you and you fighting them off. And they're feeling burdened on just having a hard time, you know, getting you back. So it's burdening them. Because you're giving them a hard time. It ain't easy. 
for them to, you're not letting them in easy if they've already came into you hey this pinnacles this person wants to work hard at rebuilding the stability with you clarify the eight of pinnacles or they're trying real hard <laughs> oh but you keep fighting them off um oops all these cards fell out clarify the eight of pentacles concerning taurus's energy okay yeah and all they want to do they just want to charge for it in a victory with you but you're not making it easy for them okay the, you were there fulfillment the ace of cups you're there fulfillment clarify the ace of cups Concerning Taurus's energy. Okay, judgment. Yep. So this is going to be exposed. They may be hiding this part, but, you know, they're trying to bring what's dead back to life. You're thinking things dead between you and them. But no, they see you as their fulfillment. They're bringing that baby back to life. This person is actually in love with you. They see you as their soulmate. Clarify the lovers. They can have Gemini. Clarify the lovers. Or this could be a Gemini for some of you. Clarify the lovers. Concerning um, Taurus's energy. Clarify the lovers. Nine of Rise. They're, they're going through a mental and physical struggle. Concerning you. Some of you guys, um, you may be married to this person and you guys are just separated, you know. And some of you, you're in something long term with this person, you know, or you were in something long term, you guys separated. Or this could be in the past, you know, somebody you could have been married to in the past, somebody you could have been in something long term with in the past. Or this is what this person is wanting with you guys now. You know, because they see you as uh, having a family. See, they're still being married to you. So this is what they want. They could be wanting. When they come back, they're coming back for long term for marriage. This is what they're working on towards when they come back. Or if you are already dealing, they could already be back. You could be talking to this person. And this is what they're actually working towards. And you don't know it. This dropped out the star card. Yep. If you're married to this person, y'all are separated. This is how they see you. They want you back. They want to work things out. You know, reconcile. They want to reconcile. Okay? And if not, this is what this person wants. If you're not married or not in anything long term, they're coming back to rebuild things with you to lead to marriage. To lead to something long term. Because they see you as a star in all situations. And in marriage, whether you're married or you're trying to, they're trying to get this off the ground with you. Or intending on getting this. They see you as a star. They're, 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 they want to heal things with you. They're hoping to um, have a success in healing things with you. Okay, the lover, the tower card. Yeah, this somebody you went through a tower moment with in the past. You guys had a tower moment, and they're not trying to have another tower moment with you, okay? So they may be walking on eggshells when it comes to you, trying not to argue, trying not to fight, you know? If they sense that you're getting upset or irritated by them, they probably disappear for a minute because they don't they don't want to mess things up. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower concerning Taurus's energy. You could have a Aquarius in your chart. This could be um, Tauruses with Aquarius in their chart. See, this could be a Taurus with Aquarius in their chart that I'm speaking to on this. This is happening to. Okay. Yeah, they're trying not to go through a tower moment with you. Okay. Or there could have been a tower moment. This person could have was supposed to come visit you. They're distance from you and it didn't happen. Yep. Or this person is doesn't want a tower moment with you, trying to prevent one. 
and they're feeling like if they're closer to you that you know th that would help them not have tower moment with you so they're moving to where you are if that is distance from you they're moving in your vicinity they're moving back home okay they're moving back they're coming back so they could rebuild with you because they feel like if they're a distance from you that it's going to be it could it, it could create a tower moment between y'all that's not what they want they want to build something with you okay clarify the night abroad Concerning Taurus, clarify the night of rods. Concerning Taurus, I just feel like my voice is messing this with everything up. Clarify the night of rods. Concerning Taurus, that sounds so tired. Okay, which I am. Yep, I told you. Cause they want to charge for in a success with you, so they feel if they're in your vicinity, if they move back home, if they move back where you are, it will move forward in success with you. They will get the stability back with you that they want. This person wants to move move back in with you. They want you guys to live together. Stability. Yep, look at that. King of Pentacles. This person is planning on you guys living together. So whoever this is, they want you back. They plan on coming back home, um, getting you guys back in that comfort zone, and then they're going to pop the question on you. They're going to pop the question. Let's live together. Let's move back in with each other, okay? And this, I believe, this is another Taurus that I'm speaking to. You have Taurus in your chart, too, somewhere. <clears throat> I mean, this is a Taurus read, but I'm just saying it's Aquarius. You may be more Aquarius. and You just have Taurus in your chart, all right? All right, you guys. I hope I can help you guys. That's the end of your read. Um, I hope I gave somebody some insight on something to help uplift somebody. You guys, subscribe, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Hit the join button to become a member. I love you guys. And stay tuned for more. All right? Be good, you guys.